Am I the arsehole? For man spreading on a plane? A few months ago I was alone on a long flight, six hours. I had a middle seat between a young woman 20 SF in the window seat, and a woman 30 SF on the aisle. I'm tall and am never comfortable on planes. My knees always dig into the seat in front and it can be quite painful. I usually try to take a walk around the airport before flights to stretch my legs, but neglected to this time. It was Spirit Airlines so even less legroom than usual. About half an hour after takeoff I found my left knee inching to the side for the sweet relief of open space specifically, the no man's land in between seats, level with the shared arm rest. But I wasn't paying attention to my knee the entire time. I'll concede it's possible that at some point I was occupying space that rightfully belonged to my window seat neighbor. All was well for two hours. At this point, the woman in the window seat called over the flight attendant. She asked her something like could you tell him to keep his ing leg in his owning seat. With horror, I understood she was talking about me. I instantly retracted my leg in deep shame. She added something about his enormous stick my understanding was that it was meant to be a snide reference to the idea that spreading your legs is about male genital comfort. But she wasn't speaking very clearly and the flight attendant 50SF didn't seem to understand her. The FA asked her some sort of clarifying question but she didn't answer and eventually the attendant went away. I had been shocked into silence, but when the FA left I frantically began to apologize. But she refused to speak to me. She acted like she didn't hear me. Instead she started furiously texting on her phone yeah, texting during a flight. I thought it was weird too. I'll seat woman said she had some extra space on her side I could use, but then promptly went to sleep. Oh well. I tried again to apologize to window seat woman, but again she ignored me. I went from embarrassed to confused. I kept replaying it in my head, wondering why she didn't simply ask me to move my knee instead of calling over the attendant. I started sneaking peeks at her phone. My defense is that I was baffled by her behavior and wanted answers. I'll admit that I was being judgmental, too. Here's why she spent the last three hours of the flight watching TikToks about shaming obese people and texting someone she called Pappy. I didn't see all of it but a significant portion was definitely about me she wrote men really do be too much sometimes with a laughing emoji. She ignored me the whole rest of the flight and I ignored her. I got a good but painful workout of whatever muscle it is that keeps your knees together. How is texting during a flight weird? I flew Spirit two weeks ago and they offer Wi-Fi on the plane for this exact reason. That's the least odd thing about this whole story. You're the asshole. Pay for extra legroom. Having some random guy pressing his leg against me is enough to make me get up from my bus or train seat because it creeps me out. I don't like being touched, and I make sure I always try to avoid it. You need to be mindful of those around you. You're the arsehole full stop. Did she handle it great? No but she should not have had to. The snooping is ducking bizarre as well. You're the asshole. Even the way you write this takes no responsibility, you just found your body in her space, and you'll concede it's possible. Also mind your own business, you were already invading her space, quit watching her phone and what she's doing too. You're the asshole. Your long legs don't give you carte blanche to take up more space than you paid for. You were spreading into her space, the space she paid for. She got the FA so if things escalated there would be someone to intervene. Edit. Y'all. He's asking if he was the asshole. How she handled him taking up her space isn't relevant to whether he was an asshole or not. Having asked several men over the years to shut their legs when I've been in a window seat train and been met by abuse, I'd have gone straight to the stewardess as well. Being a bit older and now less tolerant I wouldn't have waited that long though. Why when you knew the guaranteed pain coming your way on a six-hour middle seat spirit flight did you choose it? You chose a sitch that was going to require you to impose on other people's space. Why? Unless more info is shared, you're the asshole. But I also doubt you would have invaded the legroom space of another man. 
You probably thought the two women would allow it to happen and not say anything as we usually just try to ignore these things to avoid conflict. Buy an aisle seat next time. One time I was in the middle seat on a flight and the guy next to me in the aisle who easily could have spread into the aisle said to me let me know if I'm in your space. His leg kept touching my leg. Why is it on me to tell him that? If you feel my leg, move your leg how hard is that? Take responsibility lol. You're the asshole. If you're tall and need leg room, sit on the aisle seat. You can't take up her space for your own comfort. She could have handled it better, but if you are super tall, I feel like it's common knowledge to people who fly often that you sit on the aisle seat. Info what kind of vast planes are you flying on that have enough armrest space to share it? Those are like too wide, Max. Come on. You're the asshole. Don't expect that strangers should be fine with you touching or pressing against them and having to ask or beg you to stop for you to notice or even consider. Also many flights people pay for Wi-Fi. She's allowed to use Wi-Fi if it's available. And it's impossible for her to be texting on her phone at a high altitude without Wi-Fi. You would get no cell phone signal. You're the asshole, conscious of it, and a weirdo to boot. You're the asshole. The space in between is not anyone's. It's there, in my opinion, to be a barrier between people. Air between people. If you use it, the space between you guys are less. If she uses it as well you're basically touching. Let the space be there. If you're so big, spend money on different seats as mentioned. She could have talked more nicely, yes, but she doesn't owe you to talk to you instead of F.A. Women generally act with caution around stranger men. I wouldn't confront a man invading my space either. Just close your legs. You're the asshole. Interesting seeing all the posts saying both of them are at fault. You're not obligated to be polite to someone who knowingly infringes on you. I don't buy the I didn't know I was spreading that much. OP knew and was hoping a younger woman wouldn't confront him in his bullshit. Yup, you're the asshole. Sure, I think the woman next to you could have handled it better, but you should have planned for it better. My husband is also quite tall, as a result when flying he plans his seat selection accordingly for the most comfort. This is right up there to me with parents that don't plan seats next to their children and demand other people move their seat selections to accommodate them. Many muscles keep your knees together, like a doctor's, but I just came here to say that you're the asshole, but I hope you're reading these responses. Also, how come the FA couldn't figure out what she was mumbling but he clearly heard his enormous diclam I'm not sure you heard that right, subtract the H, bruh. Info would your leg have moved into the personal space of another man? Have you ever manspread while sitting between two male strangers? If that answer is no which it most surely is, then that is the answer as to why you are an absolute asshole. You're the asshole. You're the asshole, we are all cramped on planes, if you want more room pay for a second seat. Being tall doesn't entitle you to cramp a space. It's really awkward to be on the receiving end of a manspreader.